in the previous uh, binomial uh, video clip where I outlined how to work out the value of a European call option uh, using C++ and Xcode I set up a couple of links uh, one link to uh, the burnt original C++ file and if we look at more also for uh, on the OneDrive where I left the code and what I'd like to do in this video is take the existing code that we have here and set it up in uh, Microsoft uh, Visual Studio Express so I'm just copying uh, the code and so let's hope that works and then I go into Visual Studio Express and I go to New Project and um, I come down here to Visual C++, Win32, Highlight Win32, Win32, Console Application and load up the code, give the file a name, so burnt name of the author of the code uh, and binomial European call okay, and click OK and we say next and we unclick and we hit empty project and we say finish and that takes a while and I'll just read and then I come over to the solutions so once uh, that file has been prepared the solution has been set up I come over to the solutions explorer I need to input in a main CC file CPP file so add new item CC, C, P, P, C++ file and we'll call it again burnt binomial call and add and uh, I copy the code from the so I took the code here from the OneDrive I think it does copy we'll just try that and paste and um, again the f code comes in as written we have the link to the original code and includes isostream so we've already run this code in in xcode um, and I want to do the same as before um, so we need to add uh, int and load in the parameter of input values that we had uh, used before so this is binomial code same as what we have observed in when in the previous video where Xcode uh, was applied and now we want to call up this function and uh, input in specific parameter input values for s k r sigma so we come down and main and return squiggly brackets and i might pause and put this put enter in that code and i've now entered those values in so the double is S is 100, exercise is 100, risk rate, equivalent to Black Scholes volatility, and we might reduce the number of steps um, to 100 for first uh, execution of code. Now there's an issue, we have call values, and um, they're not being recognized, so let's see.
int okay so it's this code it's the problem okay okay so there's no longer any red marks it's just that when I uh, paste it I paste it twice but so far so good we don't seem to have any issues normally if there's an issue in terms of the code something missing uh, it will appear in red okay so we get uh, indication uh, that the Visual Studio compiler uh, makes clear that there's a an issue or a conflict with the code so let's execute this code to see does it actually work hit ok should be relatively fast because there's only 100 um, ok so the code actually was worked the problem that arose is that the debug window uh, didn't um, it disappeared so uh, in order to freeze the debug window for a moment so we can uh, actually look at the result we have to add an additional bit of code so we must add in a system pause which is not strictly speaking uh, C++ code but it's it works uh, for Microsoft and we'll change the S to lowercase s and capital because C++, C++ is case sensitive P A U S E and uh, that seems to be okay so let's just execute let's save and execute And now we find that the uh, the binomial model with 100 steps, the value here is 1043. We know the true value is uh, of the order of 1045 using Black-Scholes. So we'll try that one more time by increasing the number of steps. And again, the more steps we use, the longer it takes. So we're using 1,000 steps. And I might pause. No, it's... 1044.86 so with 10,000 steps and let's run this again and this will take a little bit longer and I might pause and uh, the with 10,000 steps we can see here that the binomial call uh, its value is estimated to be uh, 104504 and that's relatively close to the true Black-Scholes value.